Welcome to the first video of 2023. Happy New Year's. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'm glad that, you know, we have another year to start new memories, have more fun, and to just enjoy life in general. Speaking of that, I know we are going back to Scylla to see Hyde again. Destination reached. Scylla. Scylla. Am I in the right area? No, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to see Hollow. Supposedly, there's evidence that we are able to find in one of the cracks of his base. So we're going to go there, grab the evidence, and then confront the man. I don't know what Hollow is going to do. If we actually do find some evidence. Maybe the guy was bluffing. Who knows? But either way, I have his ring so we can go and say, hey, he's dead. Ha ha ha. Or some bullshit. Wait, what? These receipts detail payment made to C. Hollow on behalf of the board for freelancing services. Included are the names of several friars targeted by Hollow's crew, their manifest, and the sum value of our cargo delivered to board authorities. You didn't see anything, did you? Yeah, that's why I thought. So yeah, Felix, um... Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. We found evidence, Felix. Your old friend's been bought off by the board. I've been trying to tell myself Clyde's got some sensible explanation for all this. But I just don't know. None of this is making a lick of sense to me right now. I think we need to have a word with Clyde. Let's get going. And then once we have a word with Clyde, I wonder how it's going to end. I'm hoping for the best. What's the word? Trask had a lot to say about you, Hollow. <laughs> Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Trask told me you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Hmm. Evidence? You've been bought off. I've got the receipts. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. When we met, you told me Trask was an informant for the board. You were lying. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Well, I already did. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Come on, Harlow. Why would Trask grant you out to your own employers? How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. Hmm. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Heads up! <laughs> Oh, shit. Ooh. Damn, Felix. I mean, I'm taking everything, but fuck it. Wow, I guess we're killing everyone. Right? I'm stealing everything at this point. Fuck this shit. This man lied to your face, Felix. To my face to thick cars he lied to the preacher bro that man's scum he deserves to die and look at the bloodshed on the floor this guy was corrupted from the beginning 
I'm not surprised. It's pretty sad, but nonetheless, sometimes oh, we just. Fight on our hands. Oh shit! Don't mess with us. Oh, we gotta deal with more people now. Let me go and take all of these parts because you know they're not gonna need this, right? You're not gonna need anything, right? Am I right? Am I right? Huh? I'll take this. I am just stealing everything at this point. Don't judge me. I just love, love scavenging. What was that? What's this? Damn, Felix. The way that he kicks May people is so funny. Mercy on you. I won't. Damn. Wow. This is crazy. We're killing everyone in this damn base. But honestly, though, none of these people... They're not even worth it. They're not even worth living. Okay, so now that we ransacked the whole place... Or did we? I can't wait to sell everything! I can make so much money! What's this? I'll take that. Alright, let's head on out. Oh, shit! You too! The strong survive and the weak perish! Yo, he blew him to the existence of hell. Let me steal your shit. Take this, take that. 2023 is all about scavenging off of dead bodies, because they're not going to need it. Oh, that's the last of them. What are they going to need that for? Nothing. Nothing. Alright, we got rid of everyone. Let's head out, because I'm not trying to get caught by the board for killing. Kill and run. Just like what Sia sang about. Kill and run. Wow, that's... Mm. The fact that Felix had to kill his own friend. Uh, let me talk to the kid. I know he's depressed. I would be so conflicted with many emotions. Many, many emotions right now. Hey, Max. What? You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? It's not really that simple, but yes, fine. Anything else? If that's the case, is it my purpose to annoy you or yours to be annoyed by me? Ellie, you're an asshole. Go away. Yo, she's Can't trolling. Fate, Vicar. She is trolling the hell out of that guy. This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Oh, man. I... I can't blame you, kiddo. Like, I'm really sorry. You never really know what's going on inside somebody's skull. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. I can't understand why you're upset. I, You feel like he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. Hmm. It'll pass. Just give it time. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Anytime, bro. Anytime. We're back at the medical center. I needed to give the doctor an update on her guy. Were I a gambling woman? I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Good, yay, she's happy. Okay, so let's report back to, wait a minute, what was, hold on, let me check what's the other quest I need to do. 
Yes, I almost forgot. I have to talk to Edna and Meyer. Just letting her know that the communication should be clear now for her to use. And then after that, I'm going to talk to Parari to see what's been going on with uh, her and uh, Jun Lee. <clears throat> her love interest. Anyways. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Here's your data backup. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. What? The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. Well, speaking of... Uh, Perverty. Uh, Chief Jun Lei. Which she is purposely walking away, not looking at us through her window. Let's go get some drinks, yeah? Because you have some stuff to tell me, yeah? Alright, girl, let's go. Let's go to the bar. Get some little drink and drink going, cause I can tell Nokia here is hella excited. She's been looking forward to drinking this whole time. And I'm excited too, because honestly, I... I definitely need a drink after a long, rough couple of weeks I've been having at work. I definitely need a drink. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. Thank you, Pervorty. That's so thoughtful. You're so adorable, bro. Alright, so... Oh, I am so sorry. Um... What's up? Um, actually, never mind. So, what do we do? I say we stand at the bar? Yeah? Or, let me see. Okay, so, what are we drinking? You're the expert. Honey, oh, I'm wait, lightweight. Don't worry on the price. I got this. What? Let's just do it proper. So, you're trying to get drunk drunk? Okay. Well, you're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. Oh, beer. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I can do that. Cause I'm a lightweight too. Good. I bet. Yep. Bottoms up. Cheers. Smart. One step at a time. Beer will get you nice and fuzzy, and then you're ready for the good stuff. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Enjoying a drink with your friends? Huh. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Yeah. Friends give each other counsel, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think I should do about June Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automac with a busted nav chip. Kid, if you keep cowering from your target, afraid to pull the trigger, Eventually, it'll dash off and leave you wondering what it would have tasted like for the rest of your life. That is oddly metaphorical. Okay. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What she actually write in the message, you haven't said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? No, I don't think so. Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. 
in a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Yeah, you're lightweight. Hydration. Here I come. Sensible, Cap. Starting her off slow. Else she might be sick in the unreliable's engine. Hmm. Shush you. Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. That's exactly how I feel right now with my work wife. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? There's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about, about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's, well, it, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me from me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone is, no matter their quirks. Huh. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So are you going to ask her out? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? But, wait, well, hold on. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. Right, Come on, right. bro. You got this. No need to strip your screws over it. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. So let's go. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. Oh, come on. I mean, probably. Really? Eventually. Really? Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Parvati, if you want a drink and a shoulder, you ask me any day or night of the week. I'll likely have already started. Damn. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Aww. Come on, let's go. That is so adorable. I love Parvati. You know what? Protect this small bean at all costs, bro. Just protect her. Okay, so that was a very interesting drinking session. But in all honesty, though, Parvati, she... I don't know. It's like sometimes life is so weird. Pravardi definitely reminds me of me in so many ways in terms of her feelings with Jun Lei and her concerns about the possible relationship. That's exactly what I'm going through right now with my potential love interest at work, a.k.a. my work wife. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. You're not. You're I did not. have fun. And I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. You good, honey. No hangovers in front of my salad, that's for sure. But the real question is, did you talk to Jun Lei? I messaged Jun Lei when we got back and she replied good. super quick. 
Good. Okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. Mm -hmm. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, no, okay, okay. Were there any funny typos? Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes. Funny. But I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. Hmm. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. Aww. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Okay, okay. So Junlei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Mm -hmm. Like one of those two bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. Damn. But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. We're now in orbit of a Stellar Bay, Captain. Nice. Stellar Bay. That way we can find the scholar that the Vic has been wanting to see this whole time. So let's head out. We landed on Monarch again since we are looking for the scholar. This time I decided to take Ellie with me since I know Felix is still pretty bummed out about his friend turn enemies so i decided to give him some space oh man this is nice Graham, my boy i'd show you around but i gotta keep watch just in case someone else comes along good to see you too like it's been a while since i since i've been here honestly wow everything is looking pretty nice not too bad. All right, so in this case, let's go find that nice little scholar for the vicar. So this is Fallbrook, and we should be able to find. Keep your wits about you. This is sublight territory. Oh Drinking, lord! Gambling and organized crime. Everything you need to keep civilization running. Fuck subline. Anyway, let's find this scholar. I'm done. Hopefully we'll be in and out in no time. You seen Arthur today? Man, last time I saw him. This is Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Hey, let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Yeah, let's. I can't believe I'm still stuck in this law forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot of promise down the tunnel on the river bank outside of town produce one nugget and two teeth i wonder if i can find a dentist who pays something for the teeth sounds like cheney's gone gold banking on the river i guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile yeah so he's out by the river lord have mercy it's like if it's not one thing it's another. Seriously. So, out by the river. Okay, so let's head on out then. We should be able to find them there. I had a patient who went swimming at a place like this. Got eaten from the inside out by parasitic amoebas. Why are you saying it like it's a fun story to tell? What the hell? And also, I assume the scholar is somewhere over here. Question is, would he be alive? Oh, he's alive! Now this, this is good news. Hello. What do you want? Well, fuck you too! Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. <gasps> but Preacher. you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Preacher. Never worked a day in your miserable life. Oh, he dumped it. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? 
My good will's exhausted, along with my temper. Wow, I've never seen this side of you before. Um, what's going on here? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. Well, Vicar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. First of all, you're going to give up everything you've ever believed in just for revenge? Yes, that's about the long and short of it. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you, severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Wow, Max, stop. It's not too late. Maybe the answer you've been looking for is in that book. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. Hmm. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. There, that's sorted then. I don't think so. A crazed hermit on Scylla? He's playing us for fools. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. What do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. And the fact that you lied? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Cut the crap, Max. You lied to me about Cheney, and I want and I want to know why. You're right. I owe you an apology. You do. I've been so obsessed for so long. I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. Yeah, that's an and asshole then, move. You saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I I'm begging your forgiveness. <sighs> well, hmm. I understand. We all get a little obsessed sometimes. You're, you're forgiven. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. You better. What was it like being in prison? Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed this stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. Let's move on. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.